Okay, basically, uh, you can zoom in a little bit. That's basically the Korean satellite right there currently. As you can see, it's allowed to go over U.S. airspace. So, why? And basically, see, I knew this ahead of time that basically, and then we come down to the actual factual that, and basically, let me scroll back, and I could be possibly making it, but no matter what, this is a previous, and this is what we saw the first day, or day of uh, orbits. Now, basically, uh, anybody on the East Coast, any kind of corporation business, hello, who's your friend? Bino Black, American or Canadian, as you see here. This North Korean satellite. So basically they are, I'm reading you the tea leaves and giving you the uh, fortune cookie ahead of time. And I basically did to a lot of people if they paid attention to what I had to say in my talk rooms and stuff like that. So anyway, I don't need people, any more people following me around there than I already have. But uh, let me show you where X-37B basically took a look at this thing when it was down over South, South America a little while ago. Uh, my central standard time is down there in the lower right. And then basically uh, X-37B had a straight across trajectory line. It looked at least drawn out because when I started, I, I caught up with X-37B when it was like this. When the Chinese one was, I mean, North Korea, yeah. So his brother, the, the head of North Korea, his brother is in exile in China. It's so-called exile, whatever. We know how big-time politics works. So, anyhow, we'll take you back to uh, Kwang Yong, Kwang Song, Kwang Myung Song, Kwang Kwang Myung Song, three. So basically, uh, American ownership on this thing. I do know of. I've looked into the company. I'm not going to say the name of it, but I know and I've seen the the American people that are connected with it. Okay. So beware, American corporations and private citizens of America. Uh, North Korea is not supposed to be. It's still communist, okay? So what are we letting look at us, okay? Because modern-day satellites, they can see a lot of stuff, and they can intercept a lot of data. Okay, so anyway, letting you know about that, and then we have the right to go ahead and spy on it like crazy, too. Of course, America's not going to ask anybody's permission to spy on anything anyway. So, XR X737B has been keeping... It has pretty much some good intersecting, because like I say, a little bit earlier tonight, uh, and you can watch this, and basically they'll end up... X737B, there are... This is our American satellite, our little mini uh, space shuttle, pretty much, X37B. Air Force, go Air Force. And so anyway, they're keeping an eye on it and sniffing around, seeing what's going on with it and everything like that. So uh, these orbits can change with X-37B. It's a very highly prolific. And there you go, Canada. You too. So there you go. North Korean satellite did a little dodge to the left there too. So that's GPS. They keep, it's down to the Nance ass. Every little maneuver that that thing does, as you see right there. Okay? So keeping an eye on you, communists. Okay, and I don't like it, and you shouldn't like it either. So anyhow, world politics, world business, world corporations getting along, but in the face of it, we're supposed to have our, yeah, so we're getting a quagmire here.